My name is Gabe Zolna. I was on Western Center Journalism site a few minutes ago, and there's an interesting article that uh, Daniel Newey uh, published, and it had to do with an interview that uh, Brian Williams conducted, and the person that Brian Williams was interviewing is the uh, CEO of Apple Computers, General by the name of Tim Cook. And what uh, was asked uh, by Williams was that, let's assume that the Constitution was revised, and Obama asked you to bring all of your uh, expertise to manufacture these iPhones back to the United States. What would that do to your price? Now, the response that Cook gave was, I thought, completely off the wall. What he said is, it really has a great deal to do with price. What it does have to do with is that the skills that uh, are necessary have left the United States. Tim, I have a question to ask you. Where do you think they went? Now, was the iPhone designed in China, or was it designed in Cupertino, California? Was the iMac designed in China, or was the iMac designed in Cupertino, California? Were your tablets designed in China, or were they designed in Cupertino, California? Now, the only reason that you're manufacturing phones in China has, pardon the expression, squat to do with not having the technical expertise here in the United States. The United States is the most advanced nation in the world. We lead in every category. We lead in medicine. We lead in engineering technology. We lead in communication technology. We lead in military technology. So where is it that you come off and say that you think that the expertise has left the United States. What's it take to pull one of these things together? You know, you got people on the assembly line, that's how these are manufactured, and they're put together, and they're assembled. That doesn't take expertise. What that takes is a monotonous job on an assembly line. But the, you know, a lot of Americans wouldn't mind doing that as long as they could have a chance of being employed. The reason that you don't have them manufactured here is because you, along with most of your shareholders, are very greedy. You have the most successful company in the world, the most profitable company in the world, and why is that? Well, how much do you think it could cost to make one of these? What, $10? $12? $15? You sell them for $500 each. I have an iMac that I spent over $2,200 to buy. And you can spend much more on an iMac depending on how powerful you want to make it. Are you telling me that an iMac isn't profitable for you to sell? I mean, that's absurd. The reality is the only reason that you, Tim, don't want to manufacture the products here is because, once again, you're greedy. You want to maximize return for your investors. You want to make as much money as you possibly can. And you're doing it. And the American people buy your products because they're good. Would they buy this phone for $800? Probably not. That's probably what you'd have to charge for it to make the same kind of profit that you're making by making them in China. I mean, it's absurd. And you know, that's what's wrong with this whole country. That's what's wrong with America. Too many people think the way Tim Cook thinks, and he's not honest. If he were honest, he would say, you know why we're not manufacturing here? Because it would be too expensive and it would erode our margins. And I don't want to erode our margins. That's the only reason that Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, doesn't want to manufacture them here. Why do you think most of the technology, high-tech products are made in other parts of the world, like, for example, Korea? It's all to do with labor costs. That's all, labor. And they all want to maximize as much as they can. Are you telling me that a, a, a 42 or a 52 or a 62-inch Toshiba uh, a uh, television, LED television, is worth $2,000 and it costs that much to make? I don't think they probably cost $50 to make. But what it is, is profit, 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 more profit. So Tim, maybe you want to be honest. Maybe you want to tell the truth. Maybe you don't want to lie. What is interesting, though, is the comment that Williams made, which was, again, what if President Obama change the Constitution. Well, I think he's going to be doing that real soon. And the area that he's going to focus in on 
is where a president has two four-year terms. That's going to be his first change to the Constitution. Good luck, America. We need it.